Réal des Marquères, 2023, 11th of June, and uh, we've got 53 kilometers, 2,600 meters to do. Looking forward to it. it, was here last year, it was wonderful, and it's another hot year. This is the step one of three races this year, ending in the UTMB. So hopefully this goes well, no injuries, and it's just a progression path upwards. More later. Bruno's confident is right at the front. I'll move back a little bit. Bruno caught me up, he's pushing the pace, guiding us up the mountain. Knows every twist and turn and rock and root. <laughs> See if I can stay with him. So we're coming to the top of the first hill, there's just a steep section to go. Got past the first aid station, just come into the sun, but still it's lovely and fresh. And the views are amazing, even if we can't spend time looking at them. It's the wall at the top of the first big climb. So we're gonna be doing the tour of this Wormser Valley all the skyline you can see and back down to Mühlbach in the valley back there. So we've already climbed a thousand meters in about 11 and a half kilometers. The top is in sight, the Herneck, and really couldn't wish for a better temperature and a better meteor. Just wonderful. This feels very fast paced and I'm just catching back up with Bruno which is a surprise because he was well ahead. Let's see how he's doing. Another barrage lake. Still nice and cool. The technique I'm applying allows me to, uh, it's focused on heart rate and cadence and power especially. And so, can push myself downhill so I overtook a group there and then I need to uh, take it easier on the flat and the uphill no doubt they'll pass me all going well so far This trail is a risky business. You cannot keep your eyes off the floor. Bruno just behind. These ascents are starting to take their toll. But now we've got some runnable sections. I'm looking forward to that. 
Well, we've got a bunch of pissed off runners here. We all headed where the flags told us to go. Then there was a big troop of runners coming back the other way saying, no, it's not this way. Then we relied on the uh, GPX trace. So I'm following the one from last year, but others here have downloaded this year's one. So we feel confident about where we're meant to go, but there's no little flags, no markings this way. So uh, there's a doubt, but we spent probably five, 10 minutes milling around discussing and it's time to get running. your hands oh oh that hurts the hip flexors all right a bit of downhill so on the very long uphill obviously legs feeling a bit tired at this stage and with the confusion earlier where runners all got mixed up because they weren't sure which way to go it means quite a lot of uh, better runners than me uh, started running with me. So of course there's been some overtaking, but I'm sticking to my game plan, which is to follow my heart rate, which stays permanently relatively high, but I'm not gonna push it. We're at 41 kilometers. So there's another 12, 13 to go. And a lot of that is a wonderful downhill. So let's hope it feels wonderful. <laughs> The end game, mostly quad smashing. You can hear the finishing line music. Oh, this descent has been a race. Didn't want to let people pass, a few did, but really pushing. Premier catégorie. Hey, yes! Hey, ça c'est cool ça. Bruno got first in his age category. This was his goal, which he thought was unattainable. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's good to get old sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it's good to get old. Let's all get old. Cool. So, debrief of the race. I'm happy. I didn't break my time record of last year. Not that it's a record, but still, it was 6 hours 40 last year. 6 hours 48 this year, but we got lost for about 10 minutes um, due to a difference between what was marked and what was shared in advance for the route. So roughly it's the same as last year. I'm happy though. The legs are good, the quads feel alright. Generally all round tired though, tired legs, tired body. But I've uh, been applying a new technique, springy, bouncy running. And uh, that went really well. That I could apply all the way through for six hours 48. So it's something I can sustain. And I, uh, 
I ran according to my heart rate, ignoring other people, ignoring the pull and the push of the waves of people. And I think that was the right thing to do. I, I had energy, I could run with good form and energy right till the end. The last descent was really a race. Somehow I forgot my uh, plan and uh, just didn't want anyone to overtake. So it was full on all the way down. And all the way down is like four kilometers and I don't know how many hundred height meters, but it lasted a while. It's a hot day, but there was always a little breeze. So can't complain of the heat. I'm all round satisfied. There'll be some blisters that need looking after, but I think recovery won't take too long. Done. Ticked. Beautiful. Fantastic. We'll do it again. See you at the next race.